What's up, everybody? We are going into Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving. Um, just thought I'd get in here. I got a little bit of time. It's family time right now. That's what Thanksgiving's really all about to me, to a lot of people I know anyway. Um, I hope you are enjoying this holiday season. Uh, I get in here. We did the handlebar vote. Thank you for the not so many voters, but at least there were some um, that voted um, for the handlebars that I put on here. Either or way, it didn't really matter to me uh, what handlebars that were picked. I just thought that was something fun to do, and maybe some of you might like like that too. Um, maybe you know other things to vote for in the future uh i just thought i'd kind of start that out like how how i did before with the uh you choose a bike and then i'll kind of go over it kind of thing uh so our winners out of the four that we had to pick from is two and i already got them on the bike um I found some cables. Uh, everything is that you're about to see on this bike is stuff that's just recyclable. Like it's, it was just all stuff pretty much waiting for the landfill. Um, you know, maybe this year you guys that get a brand new bike every year, you might hold out and think about not doing that and then giving your leftovers to somebody that's less fortunate or whatever. Like you might wanna uh, just take a chill, take a breezer. What you got right now is just fine. Make it work, change the handlebars, do something to it, but just quit creating more landfill. As much as you think, you, or maybe you don't think you are, but it's, it's I, like I got a saying um, about most, most people, not just in our country, but all over the world. Their car lasts for 12 years. Like I literally can almost prove this. And then they just pretty much kind of trade it in or, or pretty much just let it, they give up. They don't care. Like, so, I don't know. I don't want to go too far on that. Let me back off that. It's holiday season. Let me chill. Let me just relax with Mr. Turkey here, right here. Just kind of relax with him. <laughs> yeah, no. <sighs> I hope you guys are having a good time this year. I am. See the smile on my face? Hear me? I got my microphone on. It's, I bet it's working pretty good. I got a little bit of nice... Uh, Little tunes going there for you guys. <laughs> anyway, we'll come right back. Let's check out the bike. Yeah, I changed. I put single speed. That's how I was able to make this work. Um, what I did was um, I put big, huge tires on it, which these are 700 C wheels, not 27 which actually come from this Schwinn right here. Somebody had converted this when I first bought it. I got it from a Goodwill. Um, and they had took off the double ring and the pants guard. And it was just a single front there. And um, they had put um, 700 C wheels, these wheels from this bike. They were on it. Um, I didn't really like it like that. I wanted it to be more you know just original so that's what I was leaning towards building it back up to just original with the uh, just how it is and um, it had originally these wheels had um, 42s on as for the tires and um, I just thought bigger is better which is not always the case but just for some things or whatever it don't really need to have this size the tire size is 700 
by 54. That's the tire size on these. They are 29 by 2.0. That's it's the same equals out the same. Uh, there's no issues with them on them. They're, I don't feel like they're going to blow off the rim when I go to ride it. They're not whoppity, nothing like that. The wheels are true. Um, this was the only frame that I had of all my old vintage road bikes that would actually squeeze these tires in there. So that's why I picked this bike to turn it into like my for say gravel bike hybrid. And um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I changed out the pedals. I did put my purple race face pedals on there. I got a little front bar pad on here on the front here for the the divider bar there um, I have my AR seat on it which has a um, what has a handle on the seat here <laughs> pretty cool uh, the seats pretty comfy actually I just didn't I wanted something better for something that I was you know I'm riding on my AR most of the time and I wanted something more comfortable than this so for me, uh, let's see, I'll show you real quick. For me, I went with this for comfort. This old Schwinn seat, this style, right here with the springers and then it's got springy stuff inside there. This is one of the most comfortable saddles I've ever, right here. It's a little bit heavy, but I, you know, I don't mind. So, uh, yeah, that wasn't going to go on here. I just, this is fine. And um, so I guess more about the bike. I told you the wheel tire size, that, what not. Um, the uh, gears, the front is a 40 tooth and the rear is a 16 tooth. So uh, the rear, it's a single speed. Uh, it's a ACS Fat Boy. That's the that's it right there um, brakes they're original Peugeot they don't have any markings on them or anything um, I do want to get some brand new brake pads just for it all to be quite a bit safer or whatnot it's fine right now I can go on out even even in the wet but I would like to have some brand new pads for it um, what else do we got going on here not much it's just a basic bike very simple um i got a brand new chain on it um i'm ready to get out on it and ride it <laughs> really honestly um which right now it's holiday season um happy holidays everybody happy thanksgiving um, for me, Thanksgiving is totally about like family and friends and friends as family and whatnot and just getting to see everybody and uh, like seeing my friends' parents that I don't see much or whatnot. I get to see them and whatnot. Also spending time with my own family. So uh, that's what Thanksgiving is to me. I put my... Uh, my turkey up here just for display for this one anyway you won't probably see him until next year <laughs> um which actually this is pretty cool this is an old uh, i'll share it with you real quick this is an old bottle and it's alcohol wild turkey a hundred uh what's it say 101 proof <laughs> There's nothing in here. It's this is really old. You probably can't even find this um, unless you like get on eBay or something like that. I don't know what it's worth. I just like it and I don't want to get rid of it. So uh, there's that. Uh, do we want to? You guys want to come up close here and kind of see the bike a little bit closer? Let's uh, do an up and close real quick. I don't want to make this video too long because again I'm. I'm pretty busy and kind of strapped on time. Um, sorry, the video is kind of long, but I wanted to kind of explain it a little bit here. There's that ACS Fat Boy in there. Uh, the hubs, I can't remember what the hubs are. I forget the brand. The rims are Weinman. 
Uh, yeah, here's the no-name brakes by Puzo. It has a, a rear rack built onto the frame there to put a rear rack on. Um, I did have a question about this bike uh, that some people may know and maybe not, but uh, I'll get to that in just a second. I use these brakes right here as just a, um, they're a little bit more sturdy than the ones I had on it. The ones I had on it were pretty much, they were made out of like plastic. This lever's metal, but the rest of it's plastic, so a lot of times they might break right here when you're trying to pull on it. So I wanted something to be, you know, more safe. So I had these. They actually had shifters on them, but I just pulled all the guts apart and just threw them on here like this. And I will feel a lot safer with these on here. They might look ugly, but this whole bike is uh, is like a recycled project, so I like it. I like that I didn't have to spend a whole bunch of money like a lot of bike nerds do to make their bike comfortable or, or cool. <laughs> but, um, alright, I guess that's about it. What, oh, I was going to say about the question about the bike here, so let me turn it around so you can see real quick. And I'll show you what I wanted to ask the question about real quick. So my question is, probably nobody's going to know this, but maybe some will know. There's two things. See this right here into the tube? And then on down, there's another one down here. Is that for a air pump? Maybe? I don't know just asking you guys maybe you guys might know and then this right here there's a little thing on the frame right here I don't know what that's for and then a little peg thing here but this so anybody knows what that is leave a comment I think I know what it is I think it's for a rear uh, generator light which is it's so weird that they put this kind of like accessory stuff on it and then not have bottle holders on it anywhere. That's kind of... Why? Why didn't they think of that? <laughs> That's just strange. But anyway. Alright everybody. I'll let you guys back to your lovely Thanksgiving. And I hope you have a good one with your family and folks and everybody. Um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you're not now, that would be great. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. So, happy Thanksgiving. Peace out.